Hey butterflies, it's your girl Pam and today we're going to do that dreadful spending analysis. Oh my God, I am not ready for this. However, I told you guys I was going to share it with you and you know, we have to figure out what those loose links are and so we're going to do that together. So what I need you guys to do is to gather the last six months of your bank statements and any credit cards that you are using, major credit cards, not your store credit cards, but your major ones, your Visa, your MasterCard, Discover, American Express, things of that nature. So therefore, we can kind of get a real handle on where our spending is at. That's the only way you're going to change this, guys. I'm just going to be honest. I had to be like dreadfully honest with myself. I told you Angie with our life on the budget, I did not like her, but thank God for her because she was just very honest. It was an intricate part for her to decide where her and her family was spending excessive amounts of money. Was I spending excessive amount of money? I surely was. It is ridiculous, but I'm going to share it with you guys because I want you to learn as I have learned where those potholes are and how to be able to address them because you really can't change anything if you don't address the behavior. It is not going to get any easier if you don't realize exactly what you're doing. Now, one of the things that I told you I did after this was to figure out that I am not really a responsible shopper. I'm just not. I'll go, I'll throw stuff in the basket. God forbid my kids are with me. They will throw things in the basket and it just gets out of hand. So I started doing Walmart pickup. I am waiting patiently for Kroger to do a location closer to me, but they haven't yet. And with the gas and everything, it's just cheaper for me to run around the corner and go in there. So I, there's only a few things that I get out of there. I love all chicken flat wings. So I definitely get those there because Kroger is the only place that I found that sells them. So I'm not going to eat a drumstick. I just want the flats. So I buy the whole bag with just flats. <laughs> yes. And I don't care how much the flats are. They're about $14.99 a bag. Yes, that is ridiculous. And it's even more ridiculous when they are not on sale and they're $17.99 a bag. Have I paid $17.99? Yes. Yes, I have. And I will. But I try to catch them and buy two bags when I see them on $14.99. And the majority of the time, they are at $14.99. However, I'm going to waste the rest of the chicken. So I just figured I might as well get what I want. Um, so... With everything else, I can pretty much get everything else at Walmart pickup. And I figured out I'm going to start going to Aldi's at the end of the month because at that point, it's a little bit much of a crunch time. It's when I don't have as much grocery money. I try to split it in half. It never works out. Probably need to add a little bit more to my grocery budget, but it's a little tight now and I'm trying to throw as much money towards debt as possible so i'm just gonna wing it out so all these is a good alternative to be able to get like the sides and stuff like that because i've gotten the major meat products at the beginning of the month so there you have it i'm gonna switch you guys around and let you see my notebook that i use um once again six months of bank statements i had two bank accounts so that was a whole lot of paper <laughs> And I had um, three major credit cards that I was looking at. So let's turn around and as they say, let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> okay, guys, I wanted to give you an example of exactly how I went through each one of my bank statements and each one of my credit card statements to kind of categorize each one of my types of higher spending categories. So the green was grocery stores. The pink is Dollar Tree. I added that into the category with Amazon and the other stores. Because at one point I was going to Dollar Tree a lot. Um, you think that you're going to Dollar Tree and it's just going to be a dollar and it's never a dollar. Um, you'll come out with $20 worth of stuff that you probably don't even need. And then the last category was the food. This was KFC on this particular one. Um, of course, this is just one page of a bank statement. So just to kind of give you an overview. But I just wanted to see, let you guys see what it actually looks like. So therefore, 
when you're breaking down your different um, bank statements and credit card statements, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. All right, guys. So the first category was groceries. I did six months back. So February, January, December, November, and October were the six months that I did. The things that you need to have on hand is going to be a calculator, um, a couple of different colors of highlighters, and um, a pen and a pad, something that you know you want to kind of keep close. You don't want everybody knowing your business, except for me and my crazy self that puts it on YouTube. <laughs> so anyway, um, this is February's groceries through December. As you can see, uh, February was only $315. Um, January's was $642 and some change. December was $707 and some change. Then you have November, it was $832. October was $456. And September was $503. Guys, <laughs> I know my, my salary and probably the only one that Probably the only two months it, su it supports with groceries is maybe that three something or that four something. Now four something, almost five, is really pushing it. Um, what I can say is is that I took anything from Kroger. Of course, Kroger is going to be all food because they don't sell anything else. Um, but I took everything in Walmart unless it was gas which I normally don't get gas from there so this was like raw numbers and they're very accurate um but the problem is is that because it had already passed there was no way for me to divide it so I don't know if I had gone into housewares I don't know if I bought some clothes in here I you know or you know some workout clothes or anything like that I don't know it just said Walmart. So I, I'm just having to go. But regardless of whatever it is, it is too much to be spending with Walmart and Kroger. Just entirely too much. So groceries was my highest expense. Or at least Kroger and Walmart were my highest expense. Maybe I should say it that way. My second highest, which absolutely makes no sense at all, is fast food because the amount that I obviously spent in Kroger and Walmart would hopefully indicate that I'm not going out often. Um, we have not gone and sat down. I have not paid for the twins like food food in a while. Um, I might have, you know, picked one up, but not all four of us. And so I usually I'm only paying for myself and Janae. So the, the other alarming part of this is, um, we didn't go sit down anywhere. There was no waitress, no nothing. So I'm trying to figure out where the hell all this stuff came from. So these are drive throughs y'all. This is so far past ridiculous to me. So in February, it was $133. In January, I spent about $141. In December, I spent about $138. In November, I spent about $61. That was a light month, evidently. Maybe because of Thanksgiving. October was $123. And in September... Um, it was $96. So I went all the way back to September on all of these. So that was must have been the six months. So, y'all, this is ridiculous that this is just drive through That's now not going and, and somebody giving you your drinks, not bringing you your food, not you not giving them a tip. This is just straight drive through I don't even know what to say with this. This is so past alarming 
um, that anybody is spending this much. I, I honestly, I just swipe my card. That's all I do. I swipe my card. I didn't know. I didn't care, to be honest with you. And um, it was instant gratification. I told you I am the queen of instant gratification. And I'm going to get what I get when I want it. But not anymore. My last area, Amazon Prime, <laughs> Target, and probably the TJ Maxx slash Home Goods slash Marshall Triage. So, in February, between the three, I spent $83. January, I spent $88. December, which I am so surprised, $48. November was $28. October was only $5. I'm doing good there. And then September was $117. So those were my three areas, groceries, fast food, and Amazon, Target, and the triage, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, and Marshalls. Um, I had to be honest with myself for me to change. So I cut up my TJ Maxx card, I only order Amazon if I absolutely have to, and I've thought out the purchase. Is it something that I really want? And I've done my budget. So guys, I hope that this was a good video for you all. I'm hoping that um, you will do your own spending analysis. It is very eye-opening to see exactly where your money is going to. So I want you guys to pull your bank statements, pull your credit card statements, get you some highlighters, get you some pen and paper and calculator and add that up. You saw how I did every entry for that particular month and then added it up. Um, every little area like groceries got one color of a, um, of a highlighter. Then my once I saw which ones were my um, triggers, <laughs> needless to say. Um, then I just did three categories. I think that's enough to kind of give you a good overview of where your money is going. So, um, to all my wonderful new butterflies, oh my gosh, I am so happy y'all. We have a 176 subscribers. I'm just as happy as I was when we had one. <laughs> so, um, thank you for coming and being a butterfly. Um, I hope that you enjoyed the videos. I truly enjoy making them for you guys. Um, make sure that you comment below about what your spending uh, analysis is in the three top categories that you're spending overly in. Um, make sure that you subscribe if you have not. Make sure that you hit the bell to let you know exactly when I upload a new video. And make sure that you give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you don't forget, we have the new Facebook group, Pam Meets World Ditching the Debt. So do a search for that. And, you know, I, I would love for you guys to come in and, and us support each other, whether you're on baby step zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, or seven. I just want a, you know, a, a wonderful community of people that support each other. And so once you're in there, Start, you know, start talking to people. I, I'm not sure why everybody keeps waiting on me. I, so I want you guys to encourage each other and talk to each other. And so you don't have to wait on me. Just post something. Maybe you saw something funny about finances or ask people what baby step they're on or whatever you want to do. Um, maybe you need some side hustles. Ask those questions. I love it. So it's Pam Meets World, Ditching the Debt. Do a Facebook search. And of course, I'm going to add you because you're my butterflies. So until next time, butterflies, I love you.